And time now for a check on the weather. Let's go over to our Yi Jihan at the Weather Center. Jihan, it was hot, it was humid, it was unpleasant today. I agree. And the high ozone alert was issued in most parts of the metropolitan areas, including here in Seochugu District today, where Arirang headquarters are located from 3 to 6 p.m., despite lots of clouds hanging around during the day. Uh, by the way, Gonyoung, today is the summer solstice, the longest day of the year, and typically the monsoon season kicks off around this day. Well, um, although Seoul hasn't yet seen monsoon rain, you did mention that we'll have rain tomorrow. So, um, how much rain are we expecting? Well, not much for the capital areas. Less than five millimeters of rain are expected during the mid-afternoon. But even without that much precipitation, tomorrow will be very humid under heavily cloudy skies. But in the meantime, the southern provinces will heavy showers falling up to 80 millimeters tomorrow. So only the southern regions will have relatively cooler temperatures tomorrow. But for the daily lows, Seoul and Gwangju will kick off at 22 degrees. Celsius 21 for Daegu and Daejeon. And as for the highs, Seoul will get up to 31 degrees Celsius once again, while Daegu and Busan should see a high of 25. Now, hot and humid conditions will persist with more rain in the forecast until the end of the weekend. And before I go, I'd like to inform you that six of the Hanjung River outdoor swimming pools will open this Friday. That's Korea for you, and here's a look at the weather conditions around the world.